Good morning, everyone. Today we're in Williamsburg, Virginia, and we're gonna go check out the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. We do a lot of Ripley's museums, never been to this one. Uh, the first thing you definitely notice is it doesn't have that crazy building a lot of the Ripley's museums have. So that's a bit of a bummer, but uh, hopefully you have some pretty cool stuff on the inside. And here is the entrance to the museum. I definitely like the, the Millennium Falcon made out of car parts. Yeah, really cool. Mm -hmm. And you get a car parts bumblebee. And a LeBron James mosaic made out of little tiny balls. They got some interesting stuff, a kind of an interactive video game, and a fun photo op. Take a walk around the first room here. It's pretty neat. You got a Chinese jade pagoda, a, a white male lion with no mane. Oh, this is something that's Ariana Grande made out of toothpaste. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. This is my favorite, though. The, the gorilla? Yeah, he, this is um, made all out of nails. It looks so good. Like if you were hammering nails kind of nails. You can see it if you get pretty close. That's that's very, very neat. Yes, it looks just like fur. Mm -hmm. you got a car part Iron Man. Uh, Ripley's Classic, the world's tallest man, Robert Wadlow. Stephen Colbert made out of push pins. <laughs> the Capitol Building made out of matchsticks. I think this is kind of cool. This is a junk art figurine of a mother and child, but then there's like all sorts of like stuff in here. So you've got Super Mario or the Sultan from Aladdin, a Boy Scout neckerchief, the Riddler. Yeah. This next room, you've got some interesting stuff. Uh, different types of shoes. My favorite being this one that was worn by a giant. That shoe weighs five pounds. Uh, weird and wacky types of canes, including one made out of a shark vertebrae. And then you got just all sorts of stuff over here. I pan to the left, you can see there's a, looks like a hologram of Robert Ripley, but unfortunately it's not working. No, he's not talking. And then there's a mystery box. Well, Molly, what's in the mystery box? Let's see. Terror is in the mystery box. <laughs> you got some Robert Ripley stuff in this area, including a, a statue of him made out of stone. And then just a whole bunch of random kind of stuff. My favorite over here was this, apparently in Kansas, they had a problem with people spitting everywhere. So the, the, uh, the health officer started putting don't spit on the sidewalk, on sidewalks. You got some various types of violins and then this is pretty cool this is a african snake totem different types of male and fan mail some of this stuff is weird like look at this toy this toy gun which was actually a projector that, that was a weird toy that is a very weird toy and a large collection of prison shivs Shocking machines. And getting into the medical stuff. Yeah. Uh, this one was the most interesting to me. Down there, that is a a Civil War surgeon's kit. Oh my. It's now time to go into the vault. A cool piece of theming as you enter this room. A whole bunch of different stuff in here, starting with space stuff. There's a meteorite down there and a cosmonaut's hydro suit and a golf ball that was used on the moon neat could buy some souvenir medallions of the machine uh, a human bone flute that is quite something i do like the game yes there's a free game over here called the vault molly you want to show how it works yeah i'm not gonna all right, so you use a, kind of the beeper, like you're on a game show. And the goal is, you gotta get it in the red. Nope. I got one. Got one. And you gotta get five in 30 seconds. And they get increasingly difficult. I did do it. I was very proud of myself. Molly's got two. It, it, see, now it gets really tough. 10, nine, eight. Oh. I'm like two away. 
it's it, it's pretty fun. You've also got a a Japanese samurai armor and sword. And just a whole bunch of kind of random stuff. Like in this ex exhibit, there's coal from the Titanic and a a reindeer saddle from Scandinavia. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. You got a vampire killing kit, which I believe you have to have at every Ripley's Museum. And some more kind of weird stuff over here, like the Tibetan skull bowl and a mummified falcon. It's got a nice little happy face. So it was mummified 3,000 years ago. You got some weird types of money. And then you moved into a kind of the classic Ripley's room where you get the, the classic Ripley's characters. Uh, you could also sit on a throne of love for 50 cents. Unfortunately, I don't have 50 cents. You get a giant alligator. Now I'm guessing these probably moved at one point, like rotated around mm -hmm. and no longer rotate around. A giant prehistoric shark jaw, two headed calf, uh, the 1,400 pound man, I believe the fattest man ever to live. This is a really fun interactive game that has nothing to do with anything else in no. this room. We'll show it off in just a bit. Uh, more of the kind of those classic Ripley's kind of people. The longest nose in the world. The blue faced man. The double eyed man. You get this giant shirt here was worn by a gentleman that was eight feet, eight inches tall. I think, Molly, my favorite thing in this section of the museum, the German Wolpertinger. I don't know, that, uh, that trout is kind ah, of Ah, the fur-bearing fur trout. Classic kind of uh, fake animals. I'll have to keep our eyes out for the, the Wolpertinger when we're in Germany. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Terrified that was real. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur bones. Ooh, a sawfish, a man-eating clam. And then of course you got the wax figures here. Oh, that's a, a two-headed kitten. That's terrifying. A wax figure of the lizard man. And then Johnny Eck who was the, the kind of half man. As well as some uh, squash penny machines. So if you really like that gorilla made out of nails, you could, you could get a souvenir of him in squash penny form. Let's go play that game. Alrighty, so in this game, you have to throw your balls into the holes there, and different holes are worth different points. Welcome, race fans, to the Speedway 500. We are about to begin. The pace car is, is coming off really the track. Green flag. Green flag. No, green flag. Green flag. We are racing. Looks like we have a very competitive field out there today. A couple top drivers, oh, and the track is fast. Should be a great day for some bumper to bumper racing. I'm not doing good either. This is, this is a pathetic display. <laughs> you were doing much better, Rob. When I was not filming. Oh, yeah. Oh. Picking it up a little bit. Oh, no, no. This is, there we go. Oh, Molly's on fire now. Oh, I just hit a couple in a row. Oh, this is neck and neck. Oh, I, I'm, I'm slowed down. I'm slowed down. Molly. Oh, I just hit yours. I just. Oh, Molly's one away. Oh, and she takes the win. This is fun. The next room is in a cave. And the star attraction here is. Another Ripley staple. I think they have one at every single museum. A, uh, a genuine shrunken head from the 1890s. Molly, do you have anything you liked in this room? Uh, nothing really stood out besides a, a dagger or a bone. I, I like some of the, the masks and stuff over here. Very kind of yeah. funky. 
Ooh, a monkey skull and pig's teeth necklace. Oh, a human jawbone necklace? That's, that's weird. Oh, no. Human uh, bone dagger. Yes, that is a, that is a thing. They have a shooting arcade over it's like here. A full shotgun style. It's at 50 cents, so this one does cost extra. We're gonna see uh, what kind of effects this happens. Who made a chinging sound? All right, okay. I got 25 shots. I'm gonna aim for this uh, big giant skull first. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna talk or something. All right, let me shoot some of the stuff on this desk. For a couple of dollar upcharge, there is a 4D theater here. Um, they show two different sets of two films, and I'm excited for this. They've got they're showing uh, something called Winter Wipeout with some adorable snowman, and Funhouse Express, which is a old Simex iWorks film, which um, I used to always watch uh, when I was getting into this hobby. I would watch like the Thrill Chills and Spills on the Discovery Channel, and I would I would record them on the VCR. And uh, on one of them, they mentioned how Funhouse Express was made. And I have always loved this ride film, so I'm definitely excited to see that again. Got some more fun interactives in this room. I, I was able to complete this kind of a, uh, you got to try and make the ring all the way around. Kind of like playing Operation. Man, no, okay. I'm sorry. And if you hit the outside, beep, beep, beep. Uh, this is interesting. These are American presidents painted on feathers. Yeah, I really like those. Very interesting. I like these. I didn't know this was a thing. Uh, this gentleman put vegetables and gave them faces. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Got ships and light bulbs. This is weird. Oh, yeah. Candy box with the Lint. Yeah, Laundry that lint. is, that is bizarre. That is odd. That is odd. You got more miniatures over here. I think they're made out of matchsticks. I do like how the Leaning Tower of Pisa spins around. Yeah. And then they've got um, some video games you could play. Play uh, we played Tetris. Tetris for a while. Oh no, that is. That's kind of gross. That is a chewing gum sculpture. Hmm. Kind of weird how the Statue of Liberty has a face in the middle of it. An upcharge game you could play. It's included with a lot of the tickets. Uh, Atomic Rush, you kind of have to run around this room and get the points for the hitting your color. It's a popsicle stick lamp. Oh. Giant ball of string. Giant ball of string, a hat made for a dog. Cigarette wrapper art. That's fine. Oh, you got another interactive here with a memory game. I like this. Above you is a, I believe there's a, a chain made out of bubblegum wrappers. And then you got some carved eggs. It's very, very intricate. This one is a goose egg. And this one, an ostrich egg. 
then you get some very, very tiny things. Another upcharge game, you got an, a laser race. Uh, you try and figure out how to open this gate. A fun photo op. A giant version of Operation. And then I do like this, it's a, uh, you use this dial and that could s speed up or slow down like things that are in ultra high def and super slow-mo. Maya, I'll, I'll take that score. Uh, 43? Yeah, we ranked 43 out of 50,000. That's really good. We did uh, break six. All right, we got the men's room, the women's room, and then uh, ends? Ends. All right. Good old bathroom footage for you. Hey, hey, close that door! It's, <laughs> it's a gag bathroom. Hey, hey, close that door! What a wonderful thing. All right, Molly, it's time to enter, if you dare, the spinning vortex tunnel. You know, I liked it how the, the this way sign at the end moves. And we made it to the final room of Ripley's, believe it or not, here in Williamsburg. Uh, kind of like a medieval torture type room. Uh, this guy being my favorite part. Uh, this gentleman there, he went to jail for 20 years because his trousers split. And you also have like a little cemetery, very, very haunted mansion -y. Like, here, li here lies John Yeast. Pardon me for not rising. <laughs> and that'll do it for our time at Ripley's here in Williamsburg. There is a miniature golf course that if you do get a, if you go to Ripley's, you get a discount on mini golf. And there we go. Um, I had fun. Yeah. I don't, definitely not one of the better Ripley's museums, but it's still a decent option if you're coming for the area. And especially if you're coming with people that aren't as into like the colonial side of Williamsburg no or, or you're coming on a rainy day, it's definitely a good rainy day option. All right. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching.